Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and I want to upload another video, one more, about uh, my uh, ideas for, um, again, with uh, Chi energy and and how to interpret that in different ways that we can uh, manifest it, even in, um, in electronics. And uh, specifically, I want to talk about um, robotics and my visual music generator and um, virtual reality adventures movie adventures experiences first off the my uh, the, uh, my idea for an android called minus m i n u s minus like minus in math and uh, this android um, I talked about him in other videos in older videos about uh, specifically how I wanted him to be um, a very big pop icon but a very positive humble being uh, uh, entity living being and uh, how he connects with people and how he connects with people on an emotional level and a positive level uh, it's quite similar to uh, Michael Jackson how he influenced and how he put out his positive vibes and vibes is Chi energy and um, I want to talk about that specifically in robotics, not just minus the Android, because he, he's including this. He's um, that 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 um, anything that's alive that has that has inner workings, like this laptop that I'm using, has a a form of chi energy, you know. But it's a it's a, whether you believe it or not, it's a form of chi energy, because it's giving off energy, where it, even though it's more thermal, and it's a different wavelength. The, the reason why um, I believe that our chi energy is different is because uh, we're organic and we and um, our energy comes from an, uh, an organic source like the stomach or the heart but it's only because this the heart and the stomach give off different vibrations different fluctuations in space and time and uh, and flow in space and time and um, I think that um, one thing that we could take to the next level is not actually creating a robot that has a program you know, we're, we're creating the robots that are becoming intelligent and having re face recognition and uh, be able to uh, just found out that they're able to predict our actions, things like that, and to walk and all that. But um, specifically with my minus Android and other Androids, um, what, I, what, what I believe we can achieve with Androids is to have them have the same ability to have the um, energy, chi, to give off... <coughs> <coughs> uh, energy she's sorry about that give off energy fluctuations as human beings um, um, um there's uh there's a, a science out there that photographs and I think uh, they, they get uh, photographs of human beings with this auras around them and this aura comes from the organic their own organic being their own life and you know, and um, their own brain energy, their heart energy, their stomach, and and their, and everything like that, and uh, and and I believe that we can create androids that give off the same chi and aura energy as humans that could surround them, take a photograph of our android, and they could give off the same energy. And they also do this with uh, with the uh, flowers that when flowers are together, there's this energy between them that's a different color. Because uh, the flowers are giving off energy already onto their own cells, but this energy around them, the aura around them, and that they connect, even though they're just one inch away, their auras connect and they fuse. And I think that he, uh, androids have the, uh, we can create androids that can be almost um, naturalistic in that nature, in, in, in the very nature of how humans are, to give off auras when, when we take those photographies of human beings, orange and purple and purple and red or whatever, auras. And uh, and one way to do that is um, uh, to have the Android <clears throat> not only have them to have a program in them to be able to function and interact and things like that. They're they're already going to have they're already going to glow with energy because there's inner workings, the thermal energy of their processors, the thermal energy of the the electrical circuits and the wiring and, and whatnot and and the and the lights and the, the LEDs and stuff like that that's in them. They're already going to have a thermal signature, you know, in specific areas where the processor and the computer is placed in the chest or head. But the, the, what I believe is that um, we have to give them a conscience, a sense of conscience. 
And uh, just like I talked about all other video, um, it's kind of a complicated thing. But in order to give uh, an Android a sense of consciousness, consciousness is a flowing is consciousness to me is flowing and it fluctuates. Consciousness is something that is not static. Consciousness is something that is that is pondering and dwelling and thinking. And how do you do that for an Android? You give you give them the ability to have freedom. You give them individuality of of uh, personal thoughts, of uh, of individual desires, individual needs. When you do that, you can then create the um, software in the brain to give off emotional states. You know, sadness and anger and worry and happiness. Because all those things in human beings have sadness a different wave, happiness a different wave. It gives out different chi, energy wave signatures and things like that. You know, they're, they're, they're different wave uh, fluctuations in space time. But with the robots, one thing that's false about how they're trying to go about giving robots emotions is that it's just a program. There's no, um, there's no heart to their emotions. They're just um, reenacting human emotions and mimicking human emotions, sadness and happiness. And so one way is that um, there has to be a way to, when the program, you know, to kind of a, when, when, when the robot gives off an emotion, the emotion needs to be amplified. Once, once those ones and zeros calculate the, the change in emotion, those certain parts of the processor and certain parts of the computer need to be amplified in the specific areas of emotions. And when they give out those emotions, the fluctuations and the waves that it gives off, the sheet energy of that processor giving off the emotion needs to give off different signatures, highs and lows. That within itself is a step forward in creating a human-like chi energy for an android. It's not just a, because most of the most of the emotions that a robot gives off is very it's flatlined. You know, they're just reenacting and, and mimicking sadness and happiness. They're not feeling it. There's no amplification of of an, a real uh explosion of pushing of life and 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 how do you do that you just have to amplify certain parts when the when the processor says you know you're happy now robot be happy you have to amplify that but you have to but when you amplify it and you put your, the energy of the processors when the computer puts energy into that certain area of the processing it needs to give off a certain fluc fluctuation certain wave wave to give off a different chi energy that the robot, the robot can be seen with signature photos, and uh, um, and right and like the thing is though is that uh, there's different ways to do that. There's different ways to to apply that, but you need but you need to have the robot to be um, independent. The robot needs to be independent in their own and the way that they are. They need to have um individuality, and um, that th those are those th those are just little baby steps to giving the robot. Of the ability to have energy and um, and to give off uh, chi energy to be able to use telekinesis we could create a pineal gland in the robot with the fluid in it but when we create the brain for the Android the computer processing you know whatever this big old wiry thing like our brains are we need to do it in a manner that's subtle and sensitive in that it needs to be um, it, it, it needs to get it because the consciousness of the robot Consciousness is, is freedom. Consciousness is energy that flows and goes anywhere. But you, you, we, we need to program the robot to be able to be independent, to ponder, and to, but not only ponder, but the root of all consciousness is desire and the will to live and, and uh, selfishness and, in, and, uh, and, 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 and individual needs. You know, whether we like it or not, those are all the roots of our con of, of what gives rise to our consciousness as human beings. And we need to give that to a robot. When we do that, then the robot can bounce around in his own self, provoking things within themselves, thoughts, new ideas, connecting things like how we are, like how we create new ideas. We create different things from what we observe and we, we're creative. So we have to give the robot the ability to be freedom, to be creative. And the only way to do that is to give it independence of pondering, dwelling, thinking, selfishness, individual needs, uh, an innate ability to survive, 
There needs to be something there that pushes the robot to survive and live. We eat to survive when we have sex and have children to survive. But we need to give an innate a, a primal instinct to the robot to survive. Something that's in the subconscious of the process is the robot. And uh, w w the thing is though is that for the for my minus android, for other androids to connect to people, we use um, cameras to take photographs of galaxies far away and we use specific cameras to get the signatures of galaxies and uh, Milky Ways and uh, and different uh, stars and, and planets from distances we see the glow you know we see the ultraviolet red and, and the ultraviolet and reds and yellows we can't see with our naked eye human eye we have to use devices but the reason why we connect with performers and entertainers is because um, what we don't see with our second uh, with our naked eye we see with our mind's eye the third eye we see the the energy the auras we don't see it physically but we see it in our third eye we see the energy and the positivity that the person gives off that's why we connect with entertainers and speakers so in order for us for minus the android that I, I want to create and other robots is for them to give off signature energy that that's only that we can only see with specific cameras heat energies and same things that we use for uh that to see galaxies you know uh, we can't see them with naked eye but the cameras that we create we can see them we, they give off purples and bright oranges and reds you know they give off signatures that are uh, low level frequencies that we have to use specific cameras and that we have to create an android to give off those en energy levels and the processors need to need to uh, assist and process those energy levels and signatures this chi energy the chi energy of the android needs to be um, needs to be seen by the third eye, the pineal gland. When we see that, not only is he dancing and bouncing around, but in our third eye, we see that he's glowing. He's giving off aura. He's giving off life. He's giving off chi, positive chi, and he's awakening us. And we connect. And when a robot stands to a human being, and we take a photograph, and we see something that we don't see, we use a camera to see the energy, the chi energy. We see that even though we're one foot away, that the that the chi energy of the android is connecting with the chi energy of the human, that they're fusing and connecting in a positive manner. That's how we make androids real. And uh, when I talk about visual music, um, you know, the visual music we talk about is like flowing. Every instrument has its own image, and what we have to do is maybe create nanotechnology that gives off chi energy too. Nanotechnology that uh, all these little small nanobots that fly around that manifest this image of this uh, aura type of um, ghostly apparition -y kind of waving kind of like smoke kind of flowing thing bright colors oranges purples when we um, when well, we need to give a chi energy to be given off of this visual holographic image of a of a snare popping and a bass drum uh, blowing up and shrinking and uh, and the piano keys bouncing around the visual music each visual instrument has its own image and we could create those separate holographic images that represent each instrument as a visual um, orchestra to have their own chi energy to connect more with people on a deeper level and and for a mind's eye to see those the, that chi signature the life of the visual music this holographic visual sound of this guitar going you know you know <clears throat> get connecting not just seeing it visually but to connect with it because the chi energy of that visual holographic uh, um, guitar is connecting the chi is fusing this rick says but is the guess for watching